Hi, welcome. Many of us experience some of the classic symptoms as we navigate our way through perimenopause and into postmenopause, like insomnia, cycle changes, and moodiness. But I was blindsided by some very surprising symptoms that made absolutely no sense to me whatsoever back then. So I never associated them with menopause and they caused me a great deal of anxiety. If I'm being honest, they still cause me a bit of anxiety even knowing that they're menopause related and that other women suffer similar experiences. So I think it may be helpful to share them with all of you. Let me know if the following five symptoms are familiar to any of you. Let's start with the most unnerving symptom, stabbing pains that occur pretty much everywhere and come and go unannounced. I have had so many scans over the years trying to figure out what horrible health problem could possibly be causing my pain and no explanation was ever given. I really wish someone had mentioned menopause to me back then because it would have taken my anxiety down several notches. The scariest area that affects me to this day is my chest. Sharp stabbing pain shocks me out of nowhere, usually under my rib cage, on the left side, of course, which sends my anxiety into high gear. I have had my heart checked so many times, it's ridiculous. It occasionally flares up in my neck, abdomen, back, arms and legs as well. And it's not the shock sensation that I've discussed in previous videos. It's actual pain. It's possible that it's caused by low estrogen's effects on the nervous system in much the same way that it causes weird skin sensations like tingling, burning, and pins and needles. But it just doesn't seem to make any logical sense. It's so random and unnerving. Have any of you ladies experienced this particular symptom? Let me know in the comments if you have. The next surprising symptom is tooth pain. I sometimes have pain so bad in my teeth that I am convinced I have 50 cavities or a severe infection somewhere, and there's literally nothing wrong with them. Bone loss in menopause can affect the teeth, gums, and jaw, but several x-rays and checkups show that my teeth and gums are perfectly healthy. So the only explanation I'm left with is that dry mouth, which is also a problem in menopause, must be causing some type of enamel erosion, which is leading to sensitivity. Although I would assume that erosion would cause a consistent problem and my tooth pain is extremely random and sporadic. Just weird. I believe the third symptom may also be related to dry mouth because it makes no sense that it would be related to hormones directly. I'm talking about clogged throat and trouble swallowing. I am forever clearing my throat and I sometimes have to concentrate to swallow. It's really weird. It causes anxiety and fear that I may get food or pills stuck in my throat. And to be honest, it has happened to me in the past. Menopause can cause new or worsening intolerances and allergies that can cause this type of reaction. But I find that even when I eat super clean and watch my food choices, the problem seems to persist. So I believe, at least in my case, dry mouth caused by tanking estrogen is a huge contributing factor. I never in a million years would have thought that shifting hormones could cause a chain of events that would affect swallowing. It's truly bizarre and definitely one of those symptoms that could ignite fear if one is unaware that hormones in a roundabout way could be the cause. Number four is very strange and honestly worried me quite a bit until I started to do a bit of research and hear from other women with similar experiences. Now I know it's just a super fun twist on the classic hot flash. Feeling like you have a super high fever for extended periods of time when you don't. The classic hot flash creeps over you, leaving you feeling hot, flushed, and a bit anxious for a short time. Then it passes leaving some lingering unease. This fever phenomenon is different. It almost feels fluish in nature. I am convinced that I am spiking a fever and coming down with something. Yet when I check my temperature, it's actually on the low side, far from a fever, and it can linger for almost an hour sometimes, definitely not a flash. I was not prepared for this type of insanity when I got closer to menopause. Do any of you ladies struggle with this? Health anxiety is so understandable in midlife, 
The amount of scary, random, uncomfortable, and inexplicable symptoms is unreal. Number five is more of a mental side effect, but it also caught me off guard and I have heard from other women that they're experiencing this as well. I'm talking about new or worsening introversion. Not that being an introvert is bad, don't get me wrong, I've been an introvert my entire life. I'm talking about a gradual withdrawal in midlife to the point where you just don't want to engage with society the way you used to. As I progressed through perimenopause, I gradually lost my desire to leave the house for much more than groceries and a walk. I prefer the comfort of my own home more than I ever did. I don't dislike people. I can socialize when necessary, and I'm not overly anxious in social situations. I just plain don't want to. Perhaps the reality of having to deal with a list of menopause symptoms in public makes the comfort of home more desirable. Are any of you noticing that you're becoming more and more withdrawn? Menopause can mess with our lives in over a hundred different ways, and the endless possible combinations of symptoms are mind-blowing and unbelievable. But some of those symptoms are just so bizarre that they make no sense whatsoever. I truly hope that there are nothing but sunshine, roses, and rainbows on the other side of menopause for those of us that struggle. We deserve them. I wish you all health, happiness, and peace of body and mind. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos on menopause, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye for now.